again everybody's plowboy plowboy's ghost channel today i'm gonna shoot the bulldog for you let me unload it y'all probably heard this before i'll keep an unloaded gun this is what i walk out here with for defense and it's loaded so anyhow show you show you what i've done here as you can tell i put a crimson trace laser grip set up on it uh charter arms had these on sale right uh well a couple of weeks ago or whatever had these on sale for 149 dollars and they're normally 189 and up depending on where else you look some places are well over 200 so y'all i couldn't pass that up and that that right there is just an outstanding little thing now the question is is have i got it sighted in close enough i don't fire a handgun from a rest very often when I sighted this in, I was firing from a wrist. And I have since then shot it freehand, and I realized that it's hitting a little different than it was. So bear with me. I'm going to try. Now, what I've got it sighted in for, if it's sighted in at all, is 10 yards. So I'm figuring those water jugs out there are pretty close to 10 yards. I've started reloading 44 Special, and that is... Maybe you can see it. It's a 200 grain spear gold dot loaded in a Starline uh, case, loaded over 8.0 grains of universal powder. I uh, did a little bit of research on it, and that seems like a like a decent load for this gun. Which now, these bulldogs will stand up to more than what you'll get the impression of when you're reading on the forums online. As a matter of fact, it's when you're reading Buffalo Boar stuff their recommendations these guns will stand up to a lot more than what people seem to think they will but they claim that a steady diet of of uh, really powerful loads will you know work to loosen the gun a little early or whatever wear on it so i'm going this is a standard pressure load and yeah well, it's 44 you know that's a that gold gold dot hollow point is supposed to be a good bullet from everything i've been able to gather and i need to buy a chronograph this is probably running right out about 850 860 foot per second out of this two and a half inch barrel that'll get it in my opinion that'll probably get it now let me grab my hear ear ball protection and let's see if i can hit anything I think I realized why I was missing her at first as much. Used this laser and trying to hit a uh, a clear jug with water in it. I don't think I was actually putting a beam on the thing as on the jug as much as I thought it was. Try again. And I flinched. So anyway, in conclusion, the lesson you learn from this is shoot more before you turn it on. Get familiar with the gun. These uh, 25, 30 rounds I shot through this gun before I turned the camera on wasn't enough. Talk to y'all later.